Hi everyone, it's Agnes and today I've got a very wonderful man called Humphrey. He's from the UK and he's come to talk to me. We're going to talk about law of attraction, self-love and manifesting different things. So hello Humphrey, welcome to the call. Uh, hello Agnes, hello everyone. Uh, um, I feel very happy to be invited by Agnes to uh, talk to Agnes and everyone else here. Um, about uh, my story um, and basically what I'd like to share with uh, everyone is um, is the story of my uh, past six months or well, maybe even past over a year um, when well I've managed to get out of the really really deep hole deep uh, you know, uh, depression um, very low mood, self-esteem kind of a, a state of mind and get to where I am right now uh, where um, my manifestations are starting to uh, show in my life and, and, um, and materialize um, and uh, things are going in a very, very good direction. So um, I don't really know. Where do you want me to start? Oh, yes. Well, do you want to start like why you actually hit the wall and ended up in a really bad state. I mean, you were, would you say you were depressed when I first met you and you were looking on YouTube and stuff? Were you in depression? Yeah, def definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I was, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's, let's face it. Uh, like probably most of us, my depression had a lot to do with um, my specific person. Um, I was in a, uh, a relationship with my specific person for, um, four or five months, something like that. Uh, it was a special one. And uh, we did split up um, at the beginning of March this year. And that's where uh, my depression kind of, you know, really, really started, you know, hit me. Um, and I kind of started um, sliding down the slippery slope of, of this depression hit that wall and and it felt like there's no getting out of there mm. and obviously you know desperately started seeking for solutions for help uh, online was one of uh, one of the places where I've looked and probably like like a lot of people you know um, started googling uh, and experimented with stuff you know with stuff like um, uh, those subliminal videos and um, and uh, subliminal meditations and stuff, but then at some point um, I've kind of stumbled upon uh, some videos of this crazy Australian lady, <laughs> as in yourself, and yes, let's see, but that's 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 what I kind of thought of you at the time because you radiated this you know such um, such an amazing positive energy and at that time it just felt to me like well this this isn't really possible to feel so happy mm. uh, you know that's that's how it felt to me but uh, despite everything uh, you know i just continued watching your videos and and i think one of the first videos um, i come across was the video about and uh, getting a specific person back. Uh, and what it actually made me realize, uh, realize was, um, you know, how everyone is uh, pushed out. And, and, you know, I've watched it a few times and it actually opened my eyes because I thought, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's all me. That's, you know, that was all me. Okay, well, I'm not kind of, uh, you know, taking the whole blame for the breakup because, you know, normally the breakup is is the result of, you know, two people's actions. However, uh, I I finally got to understand that, uh, you know, we radiate certain type of energy, you know, and if we if we're uh, negative uh, in a relationship, if we constantly anxious and fear of things. Um, happening to us, fear of failures. Um, if we radiate negativity, it comes back. You know, it's it's it affects other people. 
and they start seeing us differently, start treating us differently. And that's exactly what's happened to me because as much as my relationship with my specific person was beautiful and, and full of love and full of affection, um, you know, it was also full of anxiety uh, and a huge part um, on my side because, uh, you know, I, I just wasn't feeling good enough, you know, I, I wasn't loving myself. And, you know, starting from, from you know, specific person videos, uh, you know, I find my way to your videos about self-love, first best, and, you know, started, started following it, started exercising, and gradually, you know, started dragging myself out of this deep hole. And I've kind of um, worked out this really nice lunchtime routine for myself where I would go out for a lunch um, and basically just walk around the town. I had my usual route, which took me about an hour, and I would just um, plug my earphones in, um, start your YouTube, one of your YouTube meditation videos, and then just walk. Uh, uh, walk to it, playing in my ears, and I just simply totally switch off. You know, be walking amongst people, uh, literally almost like a zombie. But but you know, uh, in a way that you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't bump into them. That's as as far as my uh, you know focus um, um, was was kind of directed at the external environment. But the rest of it was totally focused on on the inside, on the online meditation. And I'll just do that whilst, uh, whilst walking during lunchtime. And I think that was the first step to, to my recovery. You know, I would be walking by the river and, you know, breathing in and breathing out, listening to, um, to those meditations, uh, starting from, uh, you know, first best, um, then Ho'oponopono prayer and um, uh, self-love and whispering techniques, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that was, that was the first step. And then since then, things started uh, progressing very, very quickly. <laughs> um, writing. You, uh, I have to say, Humphrey, because you and I have had contact you have gone from being in a really bad state to a really good state faster than most people. Like you really just, you did the self-love, you put that hour in at work while you'd walk around and do your meditation. You really went within and said, look, I've got some things that have been here for quite a long time and they're really coming to the surface and I'm going to work on those. And you really made, just this incredible daily effort, which I think is a real credit to you because you're now reaping the rewards. And I mean, people can't see you, but I saw you before this interview and you've just got this big beaming radiating smile now. <laughs> which is so, look, to me, that's so exciting to see someone go from feeling really terrible to, to just feeling that joy of life again. That to me that's almost better than getting a specific person back because once you've got that, you're free. You're free. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, thanks very much for the, for the compliment and yeah. thanks very much for the, for yeah. the support uh, throughout this whole journey, I guess. Uh, yes, I, um, you know, I, we, we started off, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. And I must say, this is pretty much where, things also started changing for me more rapidly. Uh, you know, I've done this whole prep work, uh, initial prep work with your videos myself. And then I've decided, well, uh, you know, I'd like to speak with Agnes in person and, you know, and tell her about my story and, you know, get her opinion and maybe advice. And that's, this is when we first um, spoke. Yes. And I, and I also think uh, the, the big game changer for me was um, how you recommended this whole upon upon a prayer. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Um, I've heard about it a lot from your videos um, uh, before then, uh, but that was only when you mentioned it specifically to me. 
uh, when I researched it a little bit farther and, you know, read about the evidence of, um, of the success story, mm. you know, healing the, the whole hospital full of mental yeah. Uh, patients, etc., etc., and you know all sorts of other stories, uh, and you know people's testimonials on, on forums and 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 other uh, you know uh, law of attraction communities. That I thought, wow, that kind of makes sense, and it, you know, and it's totally in line with uh, you know with the teachings of law of attraction and Neville's teachings yeah. that you know everything is as pushed out because mm-hmm. you know. This whole upon upon a prayer, essentially, uh, yeah, you're sending you're sending a message to to well yourself, your inner self, you know, your inner child, or or the specific person, <coughs> or generally to to yep. whoever you like, yeah, uh, you know, and you know, take uh, you know your part of responsibility for you know how they are, you know, how the world is, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and uh, yeah, I mean. I still kind of think that, you know, don't take it literally, but there is, there is a huge degree of, uh, of, um, um, of true uh, to, to me and in the whole uh, concept of, you know, radiation of, uh, of energy, positivity, love, et cetera, et cetera. So I've been doing that uh, also for quite a while after we first spoke. And then normally my routine would be, <clears throat> you know, I would either fall asleep to it. I found this really nice video, uh, guided uh, kind of Ho'oponopono um, hour yeah. long um, YouTube. Um, uh, and Humphrey, I'll... is that the Jason Stevenson one? Yes, yes, that's okay. the one. Okay, good, because I'll put the link down below because I use that one too and I think it's great as well. we'll uh, exactly. It's the one that has this really nice... Um, um, call music uh, in the background and yeah. he speaks with his uh, very nice deep um, calm voice and it's I think the video has some sort of you know black background so I think it'll be easier to yeah uh, and it and it kind of his voice gets softer and softer as the hour goes on and eventually yes. you don't hear it which is great if you're using it for sleep time Yes, that's exactly what's happened. The last 15 minutes, yeah. the, the, the voice gets... Um, 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 Just um, really soft. Quieter and quieter and quieter. Yeah. yeah. So I've been doing either days before going to sleep yeah. or the, even totally opposite on my way to work on the train. Mm. So, so either way, I would you know. I would normally get, you know, up to an hour of Ho'oponopono in me um, a day, plus, you know, approximately an hour of, you know, self-love meditation. And also, you know, combined with physical exercise, with walking. Yeah. And, and I think that was, that was also very, uh, very important to me that, uh, you know, it kind of made me um, start doing, you know, physical exercises again and and um, come back to sports to um, to my passions and and hobbies which which was great because um, um, not only uh, you know gave me further destruction from the problem from not having something yeah. uh, but also you know helped my body you know yeah. blood flow endorphins and all that yeah. stuff and and that that's that's a very big factor in feeling uh, oh, feeling good certainly is certainly is it's, and, it's, it's you know, the, the distraction you're talking about is such a big thing too because when you're so fixated on a specific person that they're not loving you or that they've left you you're so all you want to do is think about how to work it out and you never get anywhere but it's the distraction as you're saying it pulls you out of the problem yeah yeah i think i think the biggest problem for most of us who struggle with um, a specific person problem after after a breakup for example or um or, or you know they desperately want to manifest someone specific yeah uh, and they want it now they, yes. they want it now they want it right now um and uh, they're very impatient just like like i was very yeah. impatient 
you know, I was very anxious because, you know, just before the breakup, you know, we were kind of starting to to talk about, you know, a holiday together, you know, the, the spring was coming. So, you know, the summer was ahead of us, you know, we had some plans, you know, we were wanting to go there or, or somewhere else. And, you know, with all that in mind, not only I was focusing on what I didn't have at the minute, but also additionally, I was focusing and, and feeling of what I'm going to miss out on in the nearest future because of because of that. And I think that actually duplicated the effect of not having mm-hmm. uh, and made me more anxious and, and made me more anxious to have it now and again and yeah. sooner and quicker. Yeah. And and it just never works like that. It but you know when you're in the, yeah. yeah. But when you're in a state, you know, in that sort of state of mind, um uh, you 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 can never understand and it's very difficult to actually break that circle, vicious circle of of wanting and wanting and wanting and, and mm. very difficult to stop thinking about that person. Mm. Um and, and that's still, exactly you still uh, think love's over there. That's the problem. You they left they took the love with them like a couple of suitcases and now I'm left here with no love. Oh yeah. Yeah. But we, we don't know love is already here within us. We just got to call it up, but that takes practice and that's the journey, isn't it? That's the journey. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, you know, the, one of the oldest uh, sayings in the world that, you know, time heals all the wounds is, is probably the, the, the wisest one here. And it's very, very true. You know, after, after, you know, going through the, that whole process, not once, you know, I've been uh, in those kind of situations uh, many times before in my life and every single time, you know, what it takes is time. But certainly uh, distracting yourself, uh, like you always emphasize in your videos, is the key. Get, get some physical exercise yeah. in your body, get some endorphins in your system, mm. distract yourself, and then, yeah, you're right, self-love is, is the key. Yeah. As, however, as, as difficult um, it is to, uh, to tell yourself you, you love yourself, yeah. it's, it's the key. So even if you don't believe it at the beginning, you still got to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And then the one thing that, um, that kind of um, strikes my memory just now is also the book by, um, what's, what's the chap's name? The book you recommend in one of your videos, Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It. Oh, Kam- yeah. Kamal, Ravikant. Kamal's book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't read it. However, I listened to it. I bought it from Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Amazon um, Audible. Audible, yep. Where he actually reads the book himself with his own voice. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. Yes, there is there is a version, and it literally costs a few pounds. So okay, you know, two or three pounds next to nothing. So I bought it instantly uh, when I found out about it and listened to it in one breath. And then one thing that actually opened my eyes, one thing that I've learned from his book is where he says about the thought process, how negative thoughts that we uh, fed with uh, um, throughout an entire life, you know, because possibly, you know, we might have uh, been growing up in a family where, you know, there is some sort of, you know, a problem or, Mm. you know, uh, childhood traumas or whatever, you know, or maybe we, you know, um, we grow up in, you know, very negative environment. This kind of thoughts, you know, when we fed with these kind of thoughts our entire lives, they mm. shape, they, they shape our minds in a certain way. And he, yeah. I think Kamal, I likened this process to a river uh, shaping a, a bedrock mm. drip by drip by drip you know one yeah. one um, drip uh, isn't going to do any harm to the rock but when you when you do that 
you know, for ages, you know, over time, there's going to be a river forming and it's going to yeah. flow in a certain direction. In our yeah. case, there's going to be a river of negative thoughts, yeah. uh, which is going to be very, very difficult to, to overcome. So what we have to do is, even if you don't believe it, we're going to try and reshape that river. And to do that is to keep telling ourselves, you know, good things and teach our mind from scratch. Oh, you know, I love myself. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm worthy. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, whatever you want to hear, you know, whatever you, you want to start believing, even if you don't believe it at the beginning, yeah. you just got to keep repeating it. Yeah. So I think that was, that was a great lesson. Yes. And maybe, you know, as I said, maybe I wasn't um, also following Kamal's uh, recommendation for, you know, self-love exercises to the letter as, you know, not spending as much time as he says he'd spent mm. in his book. However, I think the routine that I've now uh, kind of consciously try sticking with is I wake up in the morning, I open my eyes yeah. <laughs> and... For the first few minutes, I'll just try and, you know, mentally tell myself in my mind, oh, oh, I love myself. I'm so loved. I'm so worthy. I'm so, uh, you know, so super amazing, generally, you know, all the good, best things, you know. And I, and I tell myself those things for the first few minutes, you know, after opening my eyes. And, you know, immediately, uh, you know, it kind of makes me feel a little bit better. You know, yeah. so uh, yeah. it's, I think it's very important to start a day with a positive energy. Uh, as much as it is important to finish the day without negativity and without negative thoughts before you go to sleep, because mm. your, your last thoughts, I think Mendel speaks about it, but also others say that too. Your last thoughts, um, uh, before you go to sleep mm. are like seeds and you know you you sow those seeds in your mind effectively before going to sleep yeah and if you if you sow the negative thoughts they're just gonna they're just gonna start growing in your mind you know while you're asleep yeah and uh, and you know they're gonna result with uh you know with some sort of you know, negative energy in the morning, uh, you know, lack of self-confidence, self-love, et cetera, et cetera. So, so we basically... Can I ask you yeah. what you've got? Okay, you've got your, how you wake up in the morning, you do your walk in the middle of the day with a meditation while you're at work. Have you got, I'm just looking at your daily routine because I know people mm -hmm. like to know what, what other things do you do during the day to help you? I mean, you listen to YouTubes, obviously you still listen to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I still listen to YouTubes occasionally. Like yeah. I said, I, um, I must admit, um, I've kind of to a certain degree, like, like I said previously offline before we, <laughs> uh, before we <laughs> say hi to the viewers, yeah. I kind of, I've kind of, uh, you know, um, betrayed your channel <laughs> to certain degree. <laughs> so, okay, if you've betrayed but, me, tell me who you're watching because other it's good for other people <laughs> to know. <laughs> yeah. There's so much stuff on YouTube. People go, oh, where do I start? But if you find something, yeah. what are you finding that's really good right now that's helping you? And I'll put some links down below. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, it's obviously a, a joke. Betrayal is probably not a good word. No, uh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, but you basically, expand. You expand. You've got to look at lots yes. of stuff. I mean, are you well, watching Abraham Hicks? Are you watching... You know, um, well, Dan Radio well, style, or who who do you find you're watching fairly regularly? Well, basically, I regularly watch uh, um, Neville's videos. Yeah. Well, videos. Uh, probably ninety ninety five percent of time now yeah. I spent watching various uh, Neville's videos, and yeah. I've you know, I've created this whole playlist on my YouTube yeah. uh, that I keep handy where I probably have about 60 or 70 Neville's various yep. videos already from, from various channels. Mind is life is one of them. Probably, yep. um, probably one of the most popular ones. They have mm. very good quality videos and I particularly find 
what I particularly find uh, attractive about those videos is the energy uh, and and charisma that radiates from Neville's real voice. Uh, um, I agree. Just in Neville's voice, it's like you're listening to your loving grandfather. It's beautiful. Uh, ex- exactly. Mm. Uh, whilst I've I've tried other audio books, uh, uh, basically other um, other people reading out Neville's books on audible but yeah. it just doesn't it's it just doesn't same, do the trick i know i feel the same i just there's a warmth in neville that you just you feel like you've got the best grandfather in the whole world and it's, uh, exactly. he's, lo- he's, lo- he's loving he's loving and he's passionate and he's calm. exactly he's everything i know you feel like you get to know him Oh, oh, exactly. And, yeah. you know, uh, as much as I understand there is, uh, you know, huge wisdom in, in all his teachings and in all his books, you know, and it shouldn't really matter, you know, who, mm. who's reading it, you know, yeah. uh, whose voice uh, you're <laughs> listening to because you're still getting the message. Mm. Uh, not exactly. Not, not exactly. exactly. I know. Uh, I, I get it. Yeah, I agree I, with you. I, so, so nowadays, uh, I've been listening to, to Neville a lot. And I occasionally, uh, you know, when I get notifications from your channel, from, from Dan's um, yeah. channel, and if, you know, if I see the topic is, is, is one that interests me particularly, yeah, yeah I'll still stop yeah. by and, and watch it. So, uh, you know, combining all sorts of different things, but yeah. uh, especially... Uh, especially focusing on on outside the source, yeah. Because uh, because you've been mentioning Neville so much mm. that you know after we've after we've contacted for the first time, you know, we spoke, yeah. we had this few one on one sessions, and I started getting better. Uh, at some point, I I, I think you sent me some links to Neville's original voice yeah. uh, videos, and uh, as much as at the beginning, it it. Did kind of sound a, a little bit weird, right? A little bit awkward because you know, you know, he's British, right? But he lived in America, mm-hmm. and you know, you can you can hear you know his old school language yeah. and then all sorts of you know international influences in in his English. Yes, but but at the same time, I think it's kind of good, good. And his voice is always so, so warm and so, you mm. know, wise. There's this wisdom radiating from yeah. it. So uh, I, I, love, I love watching it, yeah, uh, yeah. listening to it. Yeah. It's, it's a shame that there isn't any actual videos. I mean, maybe there is, but I've, I've not come across any. Of Neville, of Neville talking, like saying Neville? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I've heard there was some. I've heard there were some uh, TV program recordings in which he participated, like some some debates. Uh, I think he had been invited to some TV shows on yeah, numerous New York. times. I think it was in New York. Yes, I remember exactly. Yeah. But uh, from what I've heard, from what I've read online, unfortunately, these tapes had been lost now. Mm. So it's a shame. But still, you know, even even listening to his voice is just you know, such a such a pleasure. Such yeah. a pleasure. Oh, that's so great. Look, I, I've I've read Neville thirty years ago now. My friend gave me a book when I was really struggling. And I remember reading this book, The Law and the Promise was the first Neville book I read. And it would electrify me. I couldn't sleep all night. I just would be reading and reading and I'd get this electricity in my body. It was just, and I was feeling terrible emotionally. So going through this electric thing, it's like it, it recharged the cells in my body. I can't even explain. It was like some kind of weird experience. And I went through that for months. It was like I was if I didn't re- read Neville, I would crash and burn emotionally and I'd be totally depressed. As soon as I read Neville, I would lift off after about two, mm-hmm. two hours of reading Neville. I felt like I could conquer or do anything and I would do it for hours and hours and I'd practice, practice what people did in the stories because it's a lot very story-based, The Law and the Promise. And 
I will never forget how much that man helped me at that time. I was, I felt suicidal at that time. Everything was going wrong. It was another breakup, another, you know, the usual SP story thing. And it just, it got me to a place where I felt amazing again. And it was the biggest, just the biggest mental turnaround for me. I mean, I've read a lot of people since then, but I'm still loyal to Neville. I will never forget what he did for me in 30 years ago. And he's been still helpful ever since. But it was that first time of reading him. And like you, I was like, I'm not too sure about this. But then something just goes click and you get it and then you start practicing it and then you see results and then you go, oh my God, this is incredible. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I, think, um, I think the aspects um, of my, um, um, my watching Neville's video now has further expanded beyond only just uh, my SP manifestation because, yeah. yes, you know, I, I, I do uh, visualizations before going to sleep uh, and I, and I live in the wish fulfilled and, and feel myself living in the end, etc., etc. But at the same time, you know, uh, a lot of his other videos doesn't talk about manifestations. It, it talks about, you know, general, um, you know, concept of life, you know, how mm. uh, we're in charge of our lives, you know, we all connected, etc., etc. Yeah. And, um, you know, um, the, the supplementary um, information that I've started also following since, believe it or not, uh, was, um, uh, was um, a lot of documentaries I've been watching lately. And surprisingly, uh, I started discovering that not only um, what Neville teaches about, you know, us being connected about this, you know, energy transcending everything, you know, about, you know, he interprets the Bible as, you know, God within us, that, you know, that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I, you know, agree totally with that interpretation, but I'm certainly sure there is something to, to it, to that concept of this, you know, energy that's present everywhere in the whole universe and that connects us you know and that's that's the whole that's this whole vibration that neville and others uh, talk about in 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 those law of attraction uh videos and and books and you know um particularly um i particularly remember uh one of those documentaries about uh, I think I might have sent you the link to it. You remember about Nikola Tesla, the the guy who popularized um, um, the electricity in yeah. the United States, and he was the inventor. Uh, he invented many many engines, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then one thing that struck me really really hard while watching this: at some point, the um, um, the the person. Um, uh, talking in a video says, well, Nikola Tesla was known to have um, um, an amazing imagination mm. for entire his life. You know, even when he was a child, he had this ability to imagine things. You know, all his inventions, he first imagined them in his mind. You know, he was able to imagine every little detail every little part disassemble them you know make them to work in mm. his imagination and once he's done that you know he was able to you know to put those inventions uh, to life yeah. and that was that was like an eye opener you know that's that's the real proof of it mm. and then you know i've been i've been watching father's videos you know on albert einstein for example yeah. you know yeah. and you know they they talk about they talk about you know quantum physics you know and then they, this gets you this gets you thinking <laughs> well you know physicists you know as much as scientists would like to deny those sort of theories you know even even they need to admit you know the the state of current science is at the point where 
they don't really know. You know, they've discovered those multiple sub-levels of of the matter. And then they got to the point where they can't even measure this stuff. And, but at the same time, they know something's still there, you know, something so small that it just kind of, you know, transcends everything. You know, they talk about, they talk about black energies, black matters, you know, they don't even know how to call it, but there is something there. And it's kind of, it's kind of nice feeling to know that, well, uh, you know, when people say, oh, there's no proof for it. Well, actually, I think there is. Only we just, we just don't understand it yet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but it's always been like that with, um, uh, with humanity. You know, whatever we, we didn't understand, we reject it automatically. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, um, you know, sometimes you just got to you know, believe it. Oh, this experiment. Uh, remember, I sent you this video, another one. Uh, someone's actually uh, done the experiment, this double slit experiment. Uh, some physicists, I can't really explain it because, you know, I have, I have very little knowledge about, about this stuff. But what they've done is they, they were sending some lasers uh, through some sort of, you know, devices, and they had this person uh, watch it from the side. And what they've discovered is, you know, if the person was watching, it was altering the path of the electrons or something. Yeah. And they kind of repeated this experiment over and over and over for years, you know, in different setups, even online, you know? Yeah. So, so, so there was no, absolutely no doubt that you know, the person isn't physically um, affecting um, affecting the results of an experiment by, by you know, physical proximity. Yeah. And the results were that, yes, mm. you know, when, when person isn't watching, yeah. isn't paying attention to it, yeah. the results are different yeah. when a person is watching. Even at the distance online, the results yeah. are different. Yeah. So, you know, so, yeah. you know all, all the sort of things. Firstly, you know, I started believing. But secondly, you know, uh, by stumbling upon all those sorts of, you know, videos online, mm. uh, Neville's videos combined with, with those videos that seem to be giving the actual you know, physical proof yeah. that this stuff is out there, this stuff yeah. works. Yeah. We may not understand how it works yeah. and why, but, but, but it does. But it yeah. actually does. Yeah. And some that's people the, do need proof. Some people do. And, and that's fine. You know, it's, that's, that's, mm. that's why I think it's, it's important to mention that aspect of the story yeah. For, yeah. for those of the viewers who actually need that proof. I mean, yeah. I'm lucky enough to be the person who, uh, when, when I believe in something, excuse me, I believe in it, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't, don't necessarily have to look for a, a, you know, a definitive proof. But yes. I, I can imagine there's thousands out there yeah. who will not believe unless they're given a hundred percent definite proof. And I think the proof is already out there. Yeah. We're just not... We just not paying attention to it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. But, I'm going to put those. I'm going to find those links you sent me via email, and I'll put them down below. Because yeah, it's good if you want to take, you know, this is part of what's good about distraction. You start with Neville, or you start with Law of Attraction, then you go off into quantum physics, then you go off into metaphysics, <laughs> then you go off. In, you know, you go off and you look at and you learn about other things. That's what's great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, I think also for, for uh, those of um, the viewers who are very religious, uh, um, uh, you know, regardless of which religion uh, you're coming from, I think um, Neville's teachings are so universal mm. uh, and his interpretation that I think they can be applied to, to any religion. And I think... Uh, you know, what what Bible teaches us, for example, you know, the, the Christians, the Catholics, um, you know, is that, you know, God is a person, you know, it's like it creates this image because, but that's what was happening, you know, ages ago when they wrote the Bible, you know, yeah, they, 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 they couldn't just say, oh, you know, there is this energy that transcends everything <laughs> because people wouldn't understand it. You know, they had to visualize the God yeah. as a person somehow. They had to visualize um, and find some sort of explanations to the miracles. But, you know, uh, you know it, doesn't, 
it, it doesn't necessarily uh, contradict the concept of, uh, you know, uh, creation of the world as a result of the Big Bang, etc., etc. You know, the, the Bible, for example, is one big metaphor because it had to be written in such a way that it could be understood by masses, mm. uh, you know, simple people, and, you know, give them something to, to focus on and believe in. Yeah. You know, no one would understand the Bible if it's if it read about you know uh, billions of light years and and quantum physics, right? But I, I think you know, personally to me, uh, there's no contradiction between teachings of um, uh, of the church, for example, and teachings of the modern science. Mm. And quite frankly, I I don't really understand what this whole battle between the church and science <laughs> is about. Scientists, scientists are saying there's no God, but yeah. still there's so many things they cannot explain and understand mm. using science. Yeah. And, uh, and church, for example, and religious yeah. people yeah. are insisting at interpreting the Bible very literally. So they say, yeah. you know, if it was seven days, it must have been seven days. <laughs> they can't accept <laughs> they can't accept the fact that seven days might have simply just been a metaphor, right? Mm. And 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 they can't accept, you know, uh, you know, they 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 agree that God is everywhere, but yeah. if scientists say, oh, you know, there's this energy that transcends everything, and then this could be your God, and they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. And I just don't understand this conflict because to me, those two ideas are totally coherent mm. and it, it, you just have to open your mind and open your eyes to try and understand them better and, yeah. and they, you know, they do make sense. Yes, <laughs> and see that they overlap. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But hey, uh, yes, yeah. uh, we, we kind of, we've kind of diverted away. <laughs> <so> <laughs> that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know, oh. but isn't it? I Isn't like, it amazing, right? I like the diversions. They're the fun part. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. But, but hopefully, hopefully we're talking about something different here, something mm. different than mm. most, of, uh, most of those interviews talks about, you know, oh, obviously not to, uh, not to um, um, you know, um, disrespect anyone's, you know, problems and and um, no they... it's all different and that's a good thing i mean that's why people will often say to, say to me during you know can you send me the questions you can ask me for the interview i was like i don't have questions <laughs> i said i just get on and we talk it's it's meant to be like we're having a cup of coffee at your house <laughs> Yeah, it's no. Relaxed. <laughs> well, well, absolutely. Well, yeah. I actually send you a request for questions, but uh, yeah. Yeah, was, but a lot of people uh, do, Humphrey. A lot of people ask for that because they they think, oh my god, what if she asked me something? But the thing is, it's, <laughs> it's never structured. I don't like structure because it you lose the the fun of it. You lose the inspiration. Or let's go that way. You know, you lose all that. Oh, let's get back to the questions. It's like, no, I like the fun and the, the, the randomness well, of it. <laughs> that's, but that's brilliant. You know, uh, yeah. believe it or not, uh, you know, I, I, I totally, uh, you know, I totally wasn't planning about actually talking about <laughs> what we're talking about. You know? no, that's but, what's but great. I, that's but I think it's great because, you know, this is, this is the part of uh, my journey, which I think is probably slightly different to, to others' journeys. Yeah. That, you know, all, all those kind of discoveries yeah. uh, that I'm making on, on the side of things, on the side of the law of attraction and all this yeah. evidence I'm finding to confirm that it actually works mm. in the real world. I think this is very interesting and yeah. should hopefully be of some benefit to other viewers. But if I may, yeah. <coughs> obviously I wanted to, uh, to, to, um, to give you some more um, um, insight into my study. Um, I, I would like to give you an example of, of a yeah. fairly successful manifestation. Go um, for it. You know how I was, you know, very depressed and struggling in the beginning. You know, it was showing everywhere. Not, not only just, you know, in personal conversations, but I was miserable at work. Yeah. And I remember, Humphrey, I remember you saying you were getting angry at work and people were starting oh, yeah. to say something to you. And you said, that's not normally how I am, but I'm just... Mm. 
Yes, exactly. I was getting very angry at work and I was, you know, overreacting and, you know, I was almost, you know, swearing, you know, out loud. Yeah. Not at not at people, yeah. but just, you know, out there in the open, just mm. venting on frustrations and anger. You yep. know, things would really anger me very quickly. You know, I was dealing with, <coughs> excuse me, I was dealing with... Uh, you know, some very stressful uh, work at the time. And, you know, it all coincided. Um, but, you know, at some point, um, after starting the meditations and my walks, et cetera, et cetera, after we talked, uh, I made this conscious, conscious decision to try and uh, eliminate uh, this sort of, you know, behavior, try and consciously... Uh, for example, stop using swear words. Yeah. Uh, because I, I thought to myself, okay, uh, you know, excuse me, if I, if I swear, you know, what does, it, what does it do to my head? Okay, well, it kind of winds me up, you know, and it only emphasized the negativity. So yeah. I made this conscious decision and stopped. Uh, obviously, it took some time before I could, <coughs> before I could totally eliminate it. But... It it also uh, you know helped me shift my mindset into the the more positive one. So gradually, gradually, uh, you know things started getting better. You know, and I started getting more positive uh, towards people. And then in return, I started noticing that you know people uh, people got more positive towards me. You know, more positive reception, uh, more appreciation for my efforts. Etc. Mm. Etc. Et so things have started uh, changing for good um, quite quickly, and I got involved in a new project and starting to work with the new client. Yeah. Uh, and then that, that's that's when things uh, changed totally for me because I obviously moved away from the from the old responsibilities, old tasks, uh, and moved on to something new. Uh, which gave me this amazing boost of positive energy because, you know, I kind of regained my, uh, my joy and enthusiasm for work, which mm. at that point, it, it initially, uh, you know, it seemed as if it was burnt out completely. And that actually helped me boost my positivity hugely as well. Because, you know, I was focusing on work and I was actually getting some pleasure and satisfaction from my work again. Mm. And do you think it got were, to the point. Do you think you were coming more from a place of giving when you started to change rather than I have to be here, I've got to be here to earn money, I don't want to be here, I'm angry, I want to get out of here to I'm going to work on relaxing and, and, and letting go and then I'm going to give. Because it sounded to me when you were talking to me about it over the months you started going into work with a more giving attitude because you were doing your self love. You were much more in give mode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I definitely, I, definitely what changed my mindset was this realization about, you know, us pushed out. And yeah. I, I realized that this philosophy doesn't also only apply to, uh, you know, specific persons, but it applies to the whole world around us. Yeah. Right. And, and I've been noticing how um, the application of, uh, of this philosophy in my life started changing uh, my uh, working relationships with, with colleagues, uh, with my bosses, with, uh, you know, with all people uh, around me, uh, which was great. And I think the culmination to obviously um, um, cut the story short, the culmination of, of this yeah. was... Approximately two weeks ago, uh, when uh, after uh, you know a, a long period of you know very hard efforts, you know uh, working flat out, giving my best, I've decided that you know it was a time uh, for me to go and ask for a pay rise. Yeah, and uh, you know I I was a little bit doubtful about it, but then I thought about it and and I figured well made a mental list of my achievements in this company and my yeah. contribution towards the success of the company over the past two and a half years. Yeah. Um, 
which is which is how long I've been working with uh, with my current uh, company. And I said to myself, but but hey, why why should I uh, why should I doubt in um, in the fact that I actually deserve it? So um, I kind of you know did. I didn't really do much about it, to be honest. I did a little bit of a uh, pre-paving. Yeah. So, you know, one night I just, you know, before going to sleep, I just imagined, you know, uh, this conversation with the boss and I kind of mentally prepared myself for how I would like this to go. And I've made physical notes, you know, bullet point list of things I would like to uh, communicate to him. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I just... Um, you know, I just tried imagining, you know, that I got it. Well, I imagined that I got it. Yeah. And um, I kind of built within myself this confidence that it happened. Um, um, and I went to, to speak with my boss. And as it turns out, you know, we had this very nice, very positive conversation. Um, I spoke with him. And he said, oh, you know, it's on its way. You know, we're meant to be doing uh, salary reviews this September. Uh, so it's on its way. So wow. without, pu- without pushing it farther, <coughs> um, I, left it, I left it at this. Yeah. Uh, and, and then imagine a few hours later, the envelope arrives at my desk. A few and hours not, later. A few hours later. Wow. Not only, <laughs> But not only at my desk, but at most people's desks. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> so, fabulous. So, you know, in, in the envelope, there were letters for each of us yep. confirming the salary review and pay increase, which in my case, obviously, uh, was, I think it was quite substantial. And it made me very, very glad and satisfied because... Nice. I've simply, you know, put it out there, as Dan likes to describe it, put it out there and just let it go, which yep. is what I did. I put it out there, <coughs> pre-paved a little bit, yep. and then I had this physical conversation with my boss, asked for it, and then let this go. And I wasn't yeah. even thinking about it anymore, and it actually came as a real surprise to me when it, when it arrived so quickly. Two uh, hours, uh, that's a quick manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there is, there is a little more to it, obviously, because... Yeah, you thought about all, it. How, long did you, how yeah. long did you think about it for, like, prior to that conversation with your boss, when you rewind and you look, okay, I think I'm... Probably, how, how much time? Probably about two or three weeks I've been starting to to get to the point where where you know decision was forming in my mind that I have yes. to have to make that move. And you know, probably around that time, you know, excuse me, building up confidence. Yep. But you know, a little bit of a background to the story is that uh, yeah, I mean, everything happens uh, as a result of a chain of events. It's it's yep. not a vacuum out there. So yep. the chain of events that led to it was <coughs> that you know for the past uh, couple of years we had some ups and downs in the company so you know no pay rises during that time and me particularly and others as well mm. uh, not only we didn't get our uh, salaries uh, reviewed during that time but also there were times um, um, during which our salaries were uh, our wages were uh, um, um, uh, cut down by yeah. a certain percentage, or they were being delayed, et cetera, et cetera. So we kind of stuck with them, you know, um, for good and bad. Yeah. Uh, and just recently, about three or four months ago, we've managed to secure, um, um, secure a really big, big contract. Um, and also, three other little jobs have started within yeah. the company. Yeah. And, that put us in, and that put us in a position where we've actually started needing people for work desperately. Wow. We, we've become really, really s- spread very thin in terms of resources, yep. overworked. But, you know, this is how uh, I've been put in that position of, you know, a little bit of a power over them because I, I had the upper hand in the discussion because, you know, between the lines, obviously, yep. Uh, I suggested that you know if if they don't 
appreciate me financially for all my efforts. You know, I might, I yeah. might go and start looking for for a job elsewhere. Yeah. Um, which, which, by the way, I'm confident uh, I'll be able to get in. Yeah. Uh, you know, few days. So this is what actually puts a little bit of pressure mm. on them. But th- but this is but, but this is what you know we keep talking about the chain of events that's yes. leading up to your uh, manifestation. Mm. So uh, I think I think the time was right. Yeah. I think the mindset was right. Yeah. Uh, I put it out there. I asked for it, and I received it. And you so felt worthy and good enough oh, and deserving absolutely. and. I mean, you wouldn't use the word "I feel loved" at work, but you feel appreciated. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. say I was loved. No, uh, that's not I, really I don't a think word. I'll ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a, no. something you say about work, but yes, definitely um, appreciation and respect for what you yes. do, what you give. Yeah, that, that's fabulous. What a great. Yeah, yeah. It's so much more than about money. It is about being acknowledged. It is about being appreciated. It is about being you know, where people see your skills, your talents and what you give. That's what it's about as well as the, the money and the pay rise. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the, um, I think uh, at least uh, the, the, the message that comes with it, uh, you know, the, the feedback that you get from, from the, the outer world that you get after such successful yeah. uh, manifestation, it's probably worth, it, um, uh, worth at least as much as the financial uh. gain Yes. Because, because because that feedback is is the increased confidence is yeah. um, um, a, a, you know is um, is the self love and self appreciation uh, but but most yeah. importantly you know belief in your own capabilities but yes. you know yes but, um, I think but I think a very important thing to to emphasize here is that uh, you know if you think you want and deserve something, you just got to ask for it. Because believe me, they would have never given this pay rise to, to any of us mm. if, if, if I hadn't asked for it. Mm. And that's... that's, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, do people know that you went in and asked and then that happened? Like, do they know that? Yeah, yeah some people, some people do because I spoke with some people. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, I, I didn't tell them about the, you know, the whole... Uh, LOA manifesting yeah. Yeah. and everything. I just, I just said, you know, I went to uh, one of my colleagues knows. Uh, I told him I went to the boss and I spoke with him about mm. it. Uh, but you know, he he was still a little bit doubtful that it was it was my um, <laughs> that it was my um, uh, my personal win. Yeah, and it was my doing. Yeah, uh, but, but you know, he doesn't have to believe it. Um, he doesn't have to believe my, it. Yeah. He doesn't have to believe it. You know, what matters to me is that I know what's happened. Yeah. And I know it wouldn't have happened if, if I hadn't done what I, what I have. Yeah. So. Yeah. And not, not so much the going in and asking. That's only the tip of the iceberg. It's all the work you yeah. do underneath it. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, and I think, of, I, I think obviously uh, that, that all the work that I've done beforehand, you know, not, not yeah. just to do with, with yeah. the manifestation of the pay rise, but. Uh, yeah. with with my self love and just getting myself out of that hole was yep. was the the foundation of mm. of this um uh, successful manifestation here yeah now. because it's like you've done 6 months work towards that day exactly mm. exactly mm. yeah isn't so, it yeah, wonderful so, so wonderful when you see the cherry on the cake i've done all this and here's the the cake uh, is my self love and the cherry is what had just happened at work yeah, absolutely. But listen, uh, I've uh, just f- for for those of um, the viewers who need even more success stories and um, uh, and more proof, um, I'll tell you another story. Uh, not okay. mine, not mine this time. But yeah. it's 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 a story of uh, uh, a close friend of mine, a young friend who still. Um, who's still at school, at high school. Yeah. So this friend of mine uh, had a teacher, um, a physics teacher, who he didn't like. He despised the man because he was a mean person and he wanted him gone. So this friend of mine, uh, and I only just found out about, found out about it recently by pure chance because 
I never spoke with him about any law of attraction. I don't even know how he figured this out. <laughs> he must have been, uh, you know, just working on it unknowingly, just yeah. by some sort of, you know, uh, perfect intuition. But what he's done, my friend, is uh, during his summer break, uh, he started doing some sort of you know, meditations at night uh, before going to sleep. You know, he would repeat to himself, you know, I want this man gone. You know, I want this man gone, blah, blah, blah. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, some yeah. sort of mantra. He devised himself some sort of mantra that he would talk himself into yeah. regularly before going to sleep. And guess what happened? You know, he's back to school now uh, and he you know, goes back to his physics uh, classes and the and the man is gone and there is a different teacher the one that my friends really really likes ah, and appreciate. wonderful isn't 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 this uh, a proof <laughs> yeah 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 it is it this stuff is it it just makes you when you hear the story like about your work like about this all of a sudden you go this is limitless what I can actually launch mentally. Exactly. It's limitless. Let me see what else I can come up with to extend my ability to use imagination creates reality. Let me see what I can do. It's oh, fun. Oh, exactly. It's a game you play with yourself. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what? Recently, um, I have, uh, you know, Given, given the, the pay rise and everything, I've uh, decided to treat myself. So, um, uh, you know, just spontaneously, yeah. uh, I booked uh, a ticket, plane tickets to the Canary Islands, which yeah. is my favorite, uh, favorite holiday destination. The Canary and Islands? Yes. Wow, yes. nice. And, you know, I'm planning on going there um, late uh, January 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going for two weeks to treat myself. Yeah. And, and, you know, I think I was telling you this in, in one of uh, my emails. Actually, when it got to, um, when it got to booking the accommodation, uh, uh, once again, I've decided to... Uh, book the same hotel in which I stayed uh, two years ago. Very nice, uh, posh, four-star hotel. Yeah. Uh, very, very nice treat. But the, the best thing about it is while I was doing it, you know, I had this amazing, um, amazing um, um, wave of, you know, positive energy that all of a sudden just hit me. And... Uh, and, you know, it felt like normally when, when doing this, I would be feeling, oh, you know, I'm going on holiday, but you know, I'm going alone. You know, yes. my, my, my specific person, you know, I'd like her to, to be there with me. But this time, no. Uh, this yeah. time, for, for whatever reason, you know, it felt, like, it felt like I was booking a holiday for both of us, you know. Yeah. And I had this almost like epiphany, you know, uh, and this sort of very strange, inexplicable certainty. Well, you know, it's, it's far away now. And uh, I think it's um, sufficiently far away that yep. it's, actually, it's actually going to happen. And I'm nice. feeling we're going to go there together. <laughs> Lovely. But you know, what's great is when you book it and you realize you don't have that old horrible feeling oh i'm going alone i don't really want to go i want to go on holiday yeah. and you realize that you're booking a holiday and you're still doing the same thing you're technically at this stage going alone but you don't have any of that old stuff hanging around that's a great no. moment it's a great moment exactly exactly yeah. so i uh, i think i think the the uh the prospects for the future mm. are very bright and and very positive and, <laughs> and, and we, you know, Humphrey, we're gonna do our part two interview when you're in the canary islands oh brilliant if absolutely you've got, if you've got good wi-fi <laughs> uh, there they, they should be some good wi-fi yeah, there at so, good so yeah yeah let's, uh, oh absolutely let's, let's interview you when you're in the middle of your manifestation your incredible holiday at the canary islands <laughs> oh brilliant brilliant and you know hope 
and I and I think I think there'll be further further manifestations at that point yeah. already. Yeah. Wow, we've been on here for an hour and twenty minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to edit edit it and just you know, trim it down because otherwise. No, no, I'm not trimming because there's too much good stuff. There's too much. Good stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you very yeah. much. I guess I always think. Look, people can watch ten minutes if they want. They can watch an hour. They can watch the whole thing. It's up to them. They can watch it in pieces. People know. Perfect. What to do. Yeah. Perfect. Hopefully, hopefully they find some of uh, some of what we talked about here uh, useful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I'll try and I'll try and uh, resend you those links to the videos oh, we talked about to, that'd be great. to help you to yeah. help you with uh, uh, with the description links for uh, people if they want to use them. Uh, oh. More than happy to uh, share uh, my Fabulous. little knowledge. Fabulous. Um, are you happy to make uh, comments in the threads if people want to ask you stuff? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I can, I can, um, I can have a look and uh, you know respond to people if they if yep. they have questions. More than happy to do that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Humphrey, for coming on. That was just my God. That was so fast. That was like a, <laughs> uh, I can't believe how fast that was. Like ten minutes. It was like. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I just, I just don't believe it. I know. Uh, but you know, that's that's what happens. You know, when you're having a good time, time yes. flies. Time flies. Exactly right. Well, right, do you, want, do you want to say goodbye to everybody, and I'll say goodbye to everybody, and then we'll say goodbye in private when we log off. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fun. Uh, thanks very much for watching, um, uh, everyone, and for those of you who lasted until the end, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> 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 And yeah. and hope you hope you uh, you know hope you found some uh, interesting um, um, uh, stuff yeah. in what we've talked about and hope you find it useful. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And we'll put the links down below. And that's it. Signing off. <laughs>